Hello, it's Helder here. And those of you that have been following me for a while know that I certainly like to work hard, but when it comes to R&R, I also like to play hard. And one of those things that uh, facilitates that play is good beer. Well, recently I was invited to Flying Fish Brewery, located in Summersdale, New Jersey, for a private tour and tasting. Uh, they basically wanted my opinion on their new variety pack and also to learn more about their brew process. So I uh, checked out their site. I was familiar with a couple of their IPA beers. So I certainly agreed and I want to share that experience with you. So let's get started. As our tour began, we had a video presentation basically to fill us in on a little bit of the history of uh, the Flying Fish Brewery. And they shared with us that it was started by a gentleman named Gene Muller, who founded Flying Fish Brewery in 1996, basically creating a virtual uh, brewery online before the internet was even really popular, and just sharing recipes back and forth and gathering information. That passion uh, kept going, and he ended up getting his first facility in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. He uh, ended up outgrowing that, or the company outgrew that location, and ended up opening up in their current location in 2012. As I stated earlier before I went on this tour, I was familiar with a couple of the brews from Flying Fish Brewery and enjoyed them. But what I wasn't aware of is how much focus that this brewery has on sustainability. They have over 463, 65 solar panels that are basically handling everything. They have uh, solar apparatuses that basically reflect light into the location. So on sunny days, they don't even need to use electricity to uh, light up the whole brewing plant. Uh, they have sustainable gardens, they repurpose all of their spent malt, and uh, it makes them one of the most sustainable breweries in the world. Not just New Jersey, not just the USA, but in the entire world. Pretty impressive. And allows us that want to support those type of companies, because of course they have great tasting beer, to do so in a more responsible way. As we continue the walking tour, of the Flying Fish Brewery, I was actually overwhelmed. I didn't think that their operation was actually going to be this big, uh, that diverse, incredibly clean. Uh, once again, the staff was, uh, couldn't be any better. I mean, just not only were they knowledgeable, but they did everything possible to make sure that we had the, boat, the best experience and all of our questions were answered. As we continued the walking tour with the plant, we got to see where the, uh, the canned beer was canned, where the bottling process occurred, where the kegs uh, were uh, staged and also filled, as well as being able to smell and taste various hops and really seeing the science behind the beer making process, which of course uh, overwhelmed me because to me, uh, being a lay person, the only experience I really had was drinking it and knowing the difference of, okay, this is good beer and this is, really isn't good beer. But when you see what really goes behind it and when you're working with uh, people with the passion that the staff over at the Flying Fish Brewery has, it really is an enjoyable experience. And to be honest with you, even makes the beer taste better once you have that much more information of the kind of time that went into this process. So once the walking tour was over, the best part was about to begin, which for me anyway, which was the tasting of uh, various beers and specifically their new variety beers that uh, Flying Fish has uh, introduced recently. As we sat down, we were initially presented with a flight of the beers that are contained in this variety pack. And uh, everything was explained as far as the flavor profile, so on and so forth. Now, once again, me being an IPA guy, I couldn't, get to, I couldn't wait to get to the end of that flight, which had these two IPA beers here, the outside IPA, as well as the Hopfish, which uh, are two of, let's say, my favorites in this variety pack. And my absolute favorite would be the outside IPA. It's exactly what I'm looking for as far as flavor uh, profiles. Very piney, very earthy. Reminds me of being outdoors, hence their name of Outside IPA. We also got the Tasty XPA, the Citrus Pale Ale, the Onshore Lager, which is very good and uh, very German style beer. And of course, their Salt and Sea, which has all sorts of different uh, flavor profiles, including strawberry and lime. So if you're into that, you probably really dig that beer. As uh, we finished up the tasting for the variety pack and uh, thoroughly enjoyed that, 
uh, we continued on and I was asked if I wanted to taste some other uh, IPA beers since they knew I was very partial to IPA and I did get to uh, taste quite a few of them and it was very enjoyable one tastier than the other yeah, especially right at the brewery so it's an experience that I highly recommend if you get a chance to actually get out to the brewery and get the little extras and literally get it right from the horse's mouth so to speak rather than it going through shipping and packaging and all this other stuff it's certainly a completely different experience and the fact that you get to taste other beers that might not be available anywhere else that also is uh, a good enough reason for uh, you to go ahead and visit the Flying Fish Brewery. Now as usual there's a lot of information that I'm not putting into this video so be sure to check out my blog post on coachhelder.com for links to the Flying Fish to more specifics on the Flying Fish brand and their flavor profile and uh, even more on their company operations so be sure to check out the blog post so bottom line if you'd like to have an incredible beer experience with an amazingly uh, kind and uh, knowledgeable staff certainly check out the Flying Fish Brewery in Summerdale, New Jersey they are once again one of the most sustainable breweries in the world so they're looking out for the environment you know how many issues we're having with the environment these days so every little thing that we can do not only are we supporting a local company but we're supporting some somebody or a company that's uh, putting the right foot forward and uh, remember we vote every time that we shop so if you want to see more companies like that you need to support them and all that being said their beer is delicious I challenge you to go there and not find something that'll probably become your next favorite beer. I know what happened to me, and I am certainly hard to please, so uh, I'm pretty confident you'll enjoy the experience. This is Helder. I hope that you found this review helpful.